Hello everyone on Oleg Nesterov Breast channel. My assistant Andrew is immersed in work. Today we are going to paint plastic parts. We'll talk a bit about primer, a bit on how to paint a fresh new part, how to paint an already painted part and which grid to use when sanding. So basically what we want to do is to repaint the moldings. I don't quite understand why there is a hole in this molding. It has to have some purpose. Even two holes. But I suspect it has to do something with the door locks. Because there are some tricky locks installed, almost latches on all four doors. Latches like these. They are automatically closing the doors. It's the first time I see such an anti-theft device. We have fired up our furnace. It's zero degrees centigrade outside today. Cold. How is it going, Andrew? All right. So Andrew has already nipped some solvent. He feels great and is full of joy. Just kidding. Andrew was washing the parts. Why is that? Like I always say, before starting any work, the part needs to be degreased. So that when you send it, the grease and dirt would not get into the scratches. Especially with moldings, where you might encounter bitumen and it will be hard to clean it out. But most importantly, we need to prepare the surface and leave the scratch marks. However, the parts themselves have all sorts of scratches and defects, which we need to remove. The car has been painted several times, so the layers of paint and lacquer coating will only help us. We will use them instead of primer. So now we will remove a layer of paint, at least one, with the help of a 500 grit sandpaper. We will see, if 500 grit will be enough, we'll stop right there. If not, we'll use 320 and above that a 500 one. Many people think that 500 grit is enough for metallic paint. This is the case if you use an orbital sander and dry sand. But my preference is still 600-800. Or I use 500 with a sander and then I wet sand with an 800 grit. That is of course by hand. Also bear in mind that the form of the part is a little bit tricky here. So you cannot reach everywhere with a sander. Therefore you have to work by hand a little bit. I've just remembered some people in the comments asked me to show what kind of an accessory I have on my machine. This is a lubricator. As you can see, it has an orifice inside. And with the help of pressure, the oil vapors get into the sander, thus lubricating it. The oil doesn't get on the surface. A very handy device. You don't have to oil it every time. But if you don't have it, just put three to four drops of oil before use, simply to lubricate the bearing. In my case, I put some oil inside using a syringe, just a bit, less than a half. It lasts for a long time. And you don't have to add oil every time before use. 
Then I take an abrasive material of 500 grit with a soft base and start sanding using medium rotation speed. Please note that all butt ends and edges also have to be sanded. This way the paint will not peel off later. And of course don't forget to paint them as well. Here we have some scratches, so we need to sand them. We managed to remove the scratches. And as you can see, in one spot we cleaned down to plastic. In fact, we left the scratch marks there, so the risk of paint peeling off is minimal. But we will play safe and cover it with this agent and namely adhesion increasing agent. Putting it simply a primer. So basically this is a primer for plastic. Many people think that primer is something special. But it's a plastic primer. It's liquid as water. It is not thinned with solvent. Just apply it right away. You may use a spray gun for that. But in our case we will apply it using a sponge. I will not go into too much detail about the chemical composition of this agent, as I don't know too much about chemistry to be honest with you. But as far as I know, it digs into plastic, into its molecular structure, after which the paint sticks well over the primer, and adhesion would be perfect. One more thing, many people asked me, if you have a new bumper, a fresh plastic, never painted. Some manufacturers note that it's covered with primer, some not. So, if it's not covered with primer, it would be better to sand it using an 800 grit abrasive and cover it with primer, like that. It dries quickly, about 15 minutes, after which you may apply acrylic prime coat over it to make it even, because even the new bumpers have scratches and chips, which you can remove with a standard primer, acrylic one. So cover the part with this primer using a spray gun, wait for 15 minutes and cover it with acrylic primer right away. It works wonders. We will also use today this epoxy primer. And we will use it. I have learned a new word today. On a multicolor surface. By multicolor, I mean surface like this, which has white, blue, and other shades. This is needed to avoid contours on paint. Here as well. The primer dries quickly, so we will wait for about 15 minutes and apply it right before painting. After which, without sanding, we will cover it with base coat. It will have an intermediate layer. We will also avoid contours on paint and most likely we will also avoid 
paint peeling off. Because we removed a layer of paint and it's likely that the car had not been painted properly. When people paint laying thick layers of paint, the upper layer dries and solvent does not leave the lower layer. And the paint inside the layers is not dry. So you get this plasticine effect. And when we remove the upper layer, we expose this plasticine layer, which in most cases makes further upper layer spill off when you apply new coats of paint. So we will cover the part with a thin layer of epoxy primer, with a prior degreasing and paint after that. Please also note that if your paint peels off, <coughs> For instance, you started painting here and the paint comes off. This is especially true when you lay the first layer and the solvent does not evaporate for a long time. The upper layer traps it. The thing is, the solvent is an aggressive medium. So it makes some damage as a result. In such cases, it's better to lay the paint in thin layers, especially in spots where you have sent it down to plastic. This layer will protect the part's surface from the adverse effects of solvent. If your paint has already come off, dry it properly and take your time, sand the spot, level it, and when you have prepared the part for painting, let it dry for 24 hours. Let the layer, which you exposed, dry up. And the next day you will simply have to degrease the surface and repaint it. Don't be hasty when fighting the paint which peels off. Because even if you mask it, it may peel off later. Or you may use the fan. You may google it. Now shake it properly. Before applying it we use the sponge with the primer. On those spots send it down to plastic. And apply thin layers of it. No need to make a thick layer, especially in those spots where you have exposed plastic surface. The first layer is thin using minor pressure. Don't forget to cover the edges and butt ends. You are too close. Keep the gun farther from the surface. Debut, so to speak. Do not try to paint properly with the first layer. The first layer is an adhesive layer. And also it makes it easier for solvent to evaporate. And the second layer will cover paint at 50 to 70%.
and the third layer to finish off the color. Now the second layer at about 50%. Today we will use this coat. This is Sherwin Williams fast drying clear coat. Why is it so handy? It's because it's intended for such fast repairs. Now lay in the clear coat the same way, a thin first layer. The first layer is an adhesive layer and it may not look nice. Do not be afraid of that. After the first thin layer we have a 5-7 minutes drying between the layers. So that with the second layer we could dissolve the underlying first layer and that chagrin would spread out. If you over dry the first layer then the second layer may copy the underlying layer and you will have a faulty chagrin. So the first drying between the layers is short, 5-7 minutes, and the second drying between the layers is already 10 to 15 minutes. This is basically it. We will wait a bit while the orange peel disappears. There is some dust, but we will remove it later. That's it for today. Let me wish everyone health, cheerful mood, and of course, best of luck and... Do right.